Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Kingsticks. I'm gonna be showing you how to play Kane Jungle here in season 10, super consistently. First things first, when you're playing Kane, you need to decide whether you're going red or blue Kane. Their whole team's melee except for Draven. So realistically, I'm probably gonna get stuck on red Kane whenever you hit someone who's melee, you get red essence. If you hit someone who's range, blue essence. Simple, right? So most likely, I'm gonna get stuck on red Kane regardless. Plus, red Kane eats melees alive like candy. So first things first, if you're going to be playing red, go Conk. If you're going to be playing blue, go Dark Harvest or Electrocute. Second thing, get your ward down where you're not starting. There's Unless you really feel like you're going to get invaded on your first buff, like if you're playing Twitch Jungle, like this. Like this ward helped us. Even though they didn't walk that way, it gave us... So we only really had to watch this way, do you know what I mean? Plus, it's going to give us vision of a potential Echo Gank. And I would like to get Alicia on my red buff. Kane has dozens of different clear routes. You can start in the enemy's jungle. You can start in your own jungle. You can start on wolves. You can start on Raptors. It doesn't really matter with Kane. The main thing is just doing an efficient linear clear out on him, at least to start with, because that's gonna give you the best bang for your buck. Now, for those of you who are very perceptive, oh, fuck me. I took the wrong thing level two. I took W, you're supposed to take E level two. That was shitty. No, I didn't get the healing and I didn't get the bust through the wall fast. For those of you perceptive, you'll see that I took Ignite that is true i like taking ignite because it's cheesy and solo queue is all about that fat cheese that stinky fat cheese so echo normally does a full clear route traditionally he does red golems wraps so i feel pretty comfortable doing this even though i don't have e which i should i could have gotten here a few seconds sooner and i would take less damage w is not very useful it does like less damage than your autos on kane at level one so your w you just use it in between your autos and it's kind of shitty we're going to pull this away we want to get level three and then we can set up a full clear out here off of the grunt we can go to our golems wraps and they my teammates were nice enough to ward my okay now we got level three so we can actually gank darius here with our ignite my teammates were nice enough to ward my blue so i know echo didn't invade me plus i warded i know he didn't invade me i have my ignite here we're gonna auto him we're not gonna use our q yet since we're behind and we don't need to there we go so for those of you who were wondering why I held on to my Q for that long, your Q's on a high enough cooldown at level one, six full seconds. Realistically, I'm not going to be able to use my Q on Darius more than once regardless. So if I come up behind him, if I were to Q through him like this, he's just going to flash and then I'm going to have no way of staying on top of him. So if you're already behind someone, unless you have to Q, don't Q initially. Kind of use it as your gap closer. So I made him walk around me. I body blocked him. And then once he got out of my auto range, then I hit him with the Q. Once he'd used his flash, then I used my W. If you know they have flash, you don't normally want to use W unless they're CC'd. Or at least slowed. Because if they're not CC'd or slowed, they're normally just going to juke your W. And God forbid they have flash and they're always going to dodge it. So yeah, it looks like Echo's taking my blue. He realized that, oh, this fucker, he took my Gromp with my blue. Or at the very least, he saw me ganking Darius and then he uh, came over here. So it looks like he did trade out for my jungle. I'm actually fine with that. I scale way harder than Echo does. Kane is arguably the strongest scaling jungler in the game, at least in terms of damage. Uh, he probably doesn't outscale something like Zack in team fights, but he's one of the best scaling junglers for sure. So I'm just going to full clear this out. And then I can maybe gank mid here if Diana engages on Rumble. This is a decent option. I'll use... Oh, fuck. I don't want to fight this. I'm going to act like I'm going over the wall, but I'm really not. Whenever you're leaving the enemies, if you know they have a flash or a dash, sometimes it's best. So you move away from them, but you stay in the middle of the wall so they don't know which side you're going to go to. Because if you immediately choose a side, they can flash and kill you. I am going to go for red smite. Since I have ignite, going for blue smite isn't as essential. And I'd recommend for you guys, if you are going ignite, if you're playing against a jungler who can give you trouble in one of your ones, like a Warwick, Olaf, or Echo, uh, going ignite is really going to give you that edge. Plus, I like ignite for ganking on Kane. Anyways, so when you're running away, move away from them with your E, but stay in the middle of the wall. So that way, right as your E's ending, they don't know which way you're going to go. And then they'll have less of a likelihood of killing you. Don't immediately choose your path over the wall because then they oftentimes will just flash it and kill you regardless. So Darius is over pushed here. We're going to run up on him. I don't think we're going to get any help. We're going to red smite him, take less damage, Q through him. He doesn't have flash and we're not behind him. So we had to use Q. He's over juking. You see him trying to juke my W out. So Darius wasn't even running away there. He played that really, really bad. He gave way too much 
what's the word? He gave too much respect to my W. So as he saw, as I was chasing him, he's like walking in a zigzag because he's trying to dodge it. That's exactly why you never, ever, ever uh, use your W early on Kane in a gank. Unless you are blue Kane, because blue Kane can cast it instantly. But even then, sometimes it's better to hold on to it. With normal Kane and red Kane, it's usually best to hold on to your W until you have some more pressure. It's kind of like using a hook. If you've ever played a hook champ, you need pressure to use your hook. And unless you have that pressure, you're not going to land it. You're just fishing. If, if you don't have the pressure, you're literally just fishing. Like uh, <laughs> like the Nigerian prince. It's probably not going to work. You don't want to use that strategy. Okay, Diana's shoving up. We could probably gank her. Let's soak his experience. Mid laners don't realize it, but you can steal their XP by being close to the wall. And we're both getting like 70 or 80% of the total experience, so it's not really hurting him that bad. If he wasn't level 6, it would be one thing, but he's level 6. I don't care if I take some of his experience. Riot, stop nerfing jungle XP, please, so I don't have to subsidize my own experience with my mid laners. That'd be nice. Anyways, we're just farming up. If there's no gank on Kane, normally you're doing a linear farm route. Echo's mid. He's not at his red buff. I have an HP advantage over him. Or I'm about to at least because I haven't got the plan. I want to kill him on his red buff. If I couldn't solo him, I would just do my own red or maybe dragon. But he's low enough. I'll be able to to kill him. I don't know how Bard didn't see that Kane's going to... that. I'm sorry, that Echo's going to go to his red buff. He's probably on his wraps. I saved my Ignite. It wasn't going to kill him anyways. I got red essence off of him, which is nice. I can start to clear this. The enemy bot lane is chasing my bot lane. It looks like they might be coming for me now. And I don't have smite. I might have to leave this. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave. I don't have smite. And they're definitely coming my way. So I'm going to pull this away. Okay, they actually didn't come for me. So I got Echo super low. I knew he wasn't going to try to steal it. And then I pulled the buff away from the enemy bot lane who could have potentially collapsed on me. I accidentally wasted my E there. I canceled my auto. If you're in your E and you auto or attack, if you auto, you can uh, easily cancel it. So don't E before you finish killing the camp. You don't want to cancel your shit. Okay, building up to our jungle item. Let's get a pink ward. We can't finish building it yet. He's probably going to go into his blue side jungle and then invade my red side. Darius is very gankable. He's probably spam picking Echo right now. Even though Aatrox is pushed up, I think I can make something happen here because he's low on health and I have Ignite. I really like having Ignite on Kane. Uh, if you're playing in Challenger or if you're playing in a highly coordinated team environment, Ignite probably isn't optimal. But I think for solo queue, it's better. I've had way better results with Ignite Kane. It may just be my play style. But I win a lot more Ignite Kane jungle games than Flash Kane jungle games. It's just weird. I, I feel like it just must be the way I'm playing, and also, once again, solo queue, Ignite OP. So we're in Echo's jungle now, we'll check to see if he's on blue. There's a good chance he's bot. Yep, he went bot, because he guess he didn't realize I took his red buff. We can pull these together. I don't recommend taking blue and Gromp at the same time unless you're about to recall, or unless you have some items like I do here, otherwise you'll take a lot of damage. We also know Echo's not here, so we're at no risk of him stealing anything. Like, he's not going to steal this from me. So we're just going to clear this out, use our Q on both of them, huge AoE damage, and then we're going to take his walls. So now we have a massive XP lead on him. I don't think he even invaded my jungle because I don't think he realizes that I'm in here. And I could probably get Red Cane off of Darius here. I really wish Aatrox would have done a little bit more there. If you guys don't know what happened, I said let me tank. I could easily take first aggro there with Ignite. And then while I'm tanking, I could take three or four shots. And then on the last one, that's going to kill me. I can ult on the Darius to dodge it. So actually, I'm going to let Aatrox die there. I couldn't save him regardless. Oh, maybe I could have. I didn't realize he could do that. I literally left because I thought we were both going to die because I was half health. I was half health, so I left, thinking we were both going to die, and he was low health. And then he somehow kills both of them. Riot, I understand you have 200 plus years of game design, according to your Twitter, or whoever tweeted that. <laughs> it was like a Riot dev, but you need to fix your shit, man. Aatrox OP, Soraka Top OP, still Sona OP. 
the top five highest win rate champions in the game right now. Five out of the top ten are support champions. There's something definitely wrong with that. So please fix that. I'm tired of seeing that shit. And we don't need new jungle champions. We don't need Zed as a jungle champion. We don't need Darius as a jungle champion. We just need you to buff some of the champions who are already junglers. Things like Amumu who have a 47% win rate who can't play any other role. Anyways, back into the Kane gameplay. When you don't have a gank to do, you'll be farming preferably the enemy's jungle. Or at the very least your own jungle. You don't want to just stand around and do nothing. Red smite him. W. He was pinned up against the wall. I think I'm dead here. At least Blitzcrank got the kill. I was going to hop over the wall. And at least I got my red form. I didn't think Echo would be there. And I didn't realize Javen did that much damage. So that was not ideal by any means. But we do have our second form now. So I can start to show you guys what Kane should look like. That was kind of weird. <laughs> that was, I don't understand what's going on there. Let's get our red form. Echo. I don't, I don't see him with any buffs. Go ahead and get a cloth armor. They have a lot of AD. They got triple AD champs. They're super low. I could probably run bot real quick and pick them up. Echo just got killed. I got to mute him. Got to focus. Chat. People really say anything useful. They rarely say, oh, Draven Flash 8 minute or anything. So realistically, not having your teammates muted doesn't normally even help you. All right, so he's not over here. We'll go ahead and just break the wards and set up a regank. Dragon's up soon anyways. I could have done Raptors into this clear, but I thought I might have been able to pick up Draven, but he backed up into a bush or something or his turret before he backed. Echo did die, so we'll push into his jungle real quick. I want to get into this bush. There's a good chance he'll, he'll be here in a moment if he runs straight to Raptors or something, yeah. We're going to ult him. There we go. Finish him off. We can easily use our ultimate as a gap closer. I'm a little confused how Draven had vision on me there. Maybe he also warded over the wall. If he didn't have heal though, I definitely would have been able to take him. I think we might actually end up just getting a Bramble Vest. They have a lot of healing with the Darius Draven. So I think Bramble's actually going to be the way to go for us. Bart should pick up that kill. What's your have your secondary form on Kane, you can start playing a lot more aggressive like you see there. Like I said, you don't want to use your W until they're slowed or have no dashes, but since I was in the bush, that's an exception. Since Echo couldn't see me, me opening up with W is a reasonable option. Why? Because once he knows I'm here, what do you think is going to happen? The moment I start at my W, he's just going to dash out of it or ult, and i will never be able to land it. So if an enemy doesn't know you're there, leading with W is okay. If they do know you're there, you typically wait to use it until you have more pressure. Somehow Darius just soloed Aatrox, even though just a minute ago Aatrox killed him and Echo. Aatrox might have DC'd. I don't, I don't know how that would have happened. Darius must have played that really fucking good. We'll go pick him up though. We'll go kill him. It's kind of annoying how the top laners are all higher levels than me. On the <laughs> lower level than like everybody right now. I think we can find him here. Oh, we actually hit him. We made contact, but it was in the last 8th second, so it didn't count it. If you hit somebody in the, like the last half a second of their recall, you can't stop it regardless. That sucks. I'll take this real quick. Game's actually starting to get kind of close. Draven's big issue. I don't think we can do anything there. They're all grouped up. That's fine. We'll just take this. If we can't do anything productive like get kills and gank, we need to stay at least semi-productive and take the enemy's jungle. If they're not over here, it's a really good option for us. Aatrox might pop off there, but realistically, if I ran through mid and they saw me, they wouldn't play around that anyways. There's a lot of opportunities that you're like, oh, you could have done this, you could have done that. Yes, but to do that, if you're giving vision of yourself, that opportunity wouldn't have emerged to begin with. So realistically, I don't think we could do anything over there. Argonite's still down. I don't know if we can fight Darius here. If we stay on top of him, I'm going to time out his bleed on me here. Uh, he mistimed his shit there. I'm going to cue to stay on top of him. Damn, there we go. He was pretty easy to kite out. He shouldn't have tried to fight me. 
as you saw I waited so he got his bleed stacks right I knock him up on beating his head in. and then right as his auto is about to land I use my ultimate to dodge his auto as you saw my ultimate last long enough at that point since I waited for his auto to where all of his bleed stacks had already fell off of me by the time I came out of my ult so what is he gonna do he now ha now he has zero ult pressure and he has very little damage so just time play around your ultimate on Kane and 1v1s it's super important that you use it correctly Otherwise, if I didn't ult right, like if I didn't time out his bleeds there, I think he definitely would have been able to solo me. So, it's just something to look for. Oftentimes, you'll use Kane ult to dodge skill shots, but sometimes you have to use it to time out bleed stacks and shit like that. Or a Mordekaiser autos. Like if Mord ults you and he's about to get his passive circle up uh, off his third auto, then in those situations, yeah, ulting is the right time. Looks like... Rumble's farming my jungle while his mid lane goes down. I'm gonna have a red smiter. I'll take less damage. Stay on top of her. She's kind of missing her stuff here. She might actually still be able to solo me though. It's a crazy thing. Yeah, she actually still killed me. I killed her. She missed most of her stuff. Uh, she did a fuckload of damage. She did 1600 damage to me. Think about that. That means I healed quite a bit during that fight. If she it took her 1600 damage to kill me. I'm actually pleased with the, that, the way that went. I believe my ultimate was on cooldown. If I had ult, I would have easily been all the beater. It just came up as I died, pretty sure. Having ignite, though. If I didn't have ignite, I would have lost that. Something I like about ignite can. It gives you more solo kill opportunities. Uh, I think I'm just going to go bramble into this. Into... Uh, I think we'll do this. because They still have a lot of auto attacks is something to think about. So normally on Red Kane, this build is a little janky, guys. I'll be honest. I need to be showing you how to play Kane. Nine out of ten times on Red Kane, you're going to be getting your full jungle item, tier two boots, straight into Black Cleaver. In this particular game, Diana's ungodly fed, and so is Draven. I need the Bramble to fight Draven, and I need the Hex Drinker to fight Diana and the Echo. So I'm getting a lot of value out of my kit right now. They have a bunch of heals off the Draven and Darius, so I think I'll be getting pretty good value out of the uh, Bramble vest. Let's go over the wall. You can go over any thin wall. Any thin wall you can go over like these. Or there's a thin part in the Raptor camp once you learn it that you can go over. Uh, I don't want to run. Some of them still have full HP. So I don't want to risk getting a kill just to die. I'd rather get a guaranteed advantage and not die. Like right here. Minion CS and getting mid turret is huge. No reason for me to run all the way over there and get nothing. And I can just go through the wall. They have no kill pressure on me here, or do they? I'm gonna wait till a shield wears off. Oh, fuck me, that sucks. I really wish I had a rumble ult there. They did, they did end up pinching me down. I don't think they'll be able to get anything off of that. Maybe the dragon. That sucks. I had really nowhere to go there. That was not optimal. Darius was there. Echo. They just had me pinned pretty well. I wish we could have done something to counter punch, but you're not going to get everything every time you die. Like Just because you die doesn't mean your team's going to do anything necessarily. All right. Next up on our list, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and finish our black cleaver. We already have our lifeline item. We got a lot of value out of the Hex Drinker there. It wasn't quite enough to survive since there were so many of them hitting me. But at this point, I need my Black Cleaver for the CDR. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I We're, just, we're still definitely in this game and we'll scale well. We just need to avoid dying and uh, have a team fight. I, I promise you though, if we had a Rumble ult, I might have actually been able to kill everybody there. I know that's a big if and but, but still. Nice Diana flash. Auto attack dash through. Ooh, nipped him with it. I really wish these dingleberries would stop fucking running. 
right, we got him. We ignite ulted straight into him. We queued to close his distance, ignite, and then pressed R. I don't. Oh shit. Our hex drinker's up though. I don't think they have kill pressure on us. I could give Vayne red buff. I'd prefer to take it though. I'll heal up off of these Ravenous Hunter OP guys. Ravenous Hunter is by far the strongest secondary rune you could possibly take on Kane, at least for in terms of scaling. I'm gonna heal up on these off of it, plus with my jungle item healing. Would have really liked to have gotten that red buff, but you can't have it all. Especially if your teammate starts it. If you take it from them, there's a chance they could like shit their pants, have a mental breakdown. So even though she's not doing too hot, we just gotta give it. I'm not trying to fight her. That's the only reason I opened up with W. I was just trying to kill the minions. Probably not worth giving away my position. The enemies are actually chasing me. That's hilarious. I'll get my own red buff here. I don't have ultimate. If you're going to do a 5v5 team fight, you're going to be fighting more than three people. Kane, you need your R. If you don't have R, they can CC chain you and you don't have much outplay potential. This might be warded. Yeah, they're just chasing. It's fine. People do a lot of chasing, low mid elo. So having Kane is really nice because then you're just wasting their time. I dodged all their shit. Hopefully my teammates can back me up here. Got out of there. Probably wasn't worth it realistically. The enemies did a good job of grouping up. Aatrox should have probably engaged that. Oh well, we have Rumble ult in the jungle. If Aatrox would have gone in there, I feel like that would have been pretty damn free. It's alright, we'll be patient. Patient farm up. We have a massive CS lead on the Echo, three levels. It's really good for us. Ooh, shit. At least no one was there to follow that up. The Blitz hook doesn't do much unless his team's gonna follow it. This could be awarded. It might be. It's hard to say with the way they're moving. My ultimate's still down, so this isn't an ideal fight. Opening up with your W isn't great. If you have to open up with your W, you're usually just using it defensively. Like there, I didn't want any of them walking into me, so I just tossed it out. Yep, there's a skinny part right there as well. On the Raptor camp, it's this skinny part. Looks very similar. Don't take this from me, Bard. There's really not much for us to do right now. My ignite's up though, and my ultimate's about to be up. Echo's foolishly trying to split push. Once you have your second form on Kane, there's very few people who can fight you, especially if you're red Kane. Tanks can't fight you. Uh, only thing that can really beat you is something like a Jax or a Fior, possibly. Where the fuck did this guy go? That was weird. He just disappeared. Oh, he literally ran back. He pushed the wave and ran back. He acted like he was going to keep walking forward. They could try to rush Baron. Echo it won't be there for a bit though. At this point, I want to back. I have way too much gold to stay. I could get some nice items. Very nice. I got my Black Cleaver. I still have my Lifeline item, obviously. And I have Bramble. You can go for Executioners on Kane. This particular game, I didn't want to. Because it's going to be difficult for me to hit Draven initially. And I'd rather his life still get cut up. Whether I can hit him or not. So if he hits my Bramble... He's going to be Grievous Wound infected for three full seconds. Barry, uh, Kane's builds are very situational, but in general, guys, you go full jungle item tier two boots into Black Cleaver. But Kane does have a lot of options when it comes to build. He autoed me, so it made that very easy. I ult on to him to make sure he didn't flash there. Stay on the Blitzcrank. He lined up with the wall. Since he lined up, I can W. He had nowhere to juke. Let's auto Q. W. Get them off. Darius did go, so I kind of just want to get away from him. I can just use the walls, kite him around. Darius is all just about his his uh, getting stacks and bursting. I use my W a little early. They're all heal up. Auto attack Q him. That way he doesn't hit me with the tip of his Q. Very nice. Whenever you're fighting someone like Darius, make sure you auto him first when you're 1v1ing him. You need to save your Q until he uses his Q. That way he doesn't hit you with the tip. If you allow someone to hit you with the tip, 
you're a goner, man. God, I just stay away from that tip. But yeah, that's the power of Red Cane. Really OP. We did mostly farming up early. We ha we could do some aggression with our Ignite. We could easily solo. That's why I like it, guys. I feel like Ignite for junglers right now is for solo queues pretty damn strong. I've had a lot of success with it with Sin Zhao, Warwick, Master Yi. Uh, Kane seems to be. I'm not gonna say it's the best thing ever on him. While at the same time, I feel like it has a lot of potential. Potential against specific matchups. Very specific matchups. Like if the enemies have really long range, let's say they had a Zerath and they had a fucking Ziggs. Ignite Kane may not be the greatest because you might have trouble closing the distance without flash. She's slow, so I use W. I'll red smite her for the extra damage. I'll ult her because she's a bitch. W. It looks like. Looks like my bard might have just killed me. Okay, he got the stun off. I'm still alive. Alright, we still got the kill. I'm happy with that. That bard ult was really fucking scary. I'm glad he followed it up with a stun, though. It allowed me to pick up a kill. I'll finish off my Thornmel here. I have 250 AD, a fuckload of armor, decent amount of health. I'm in a pretty good spot. Nice, he landed on Draven. Should hit him with that Q? No, not quite. Oh, Bard. <laughs> Bard's fucked. Oh, shit! I think, yeah, he's fucked. We really needed a true team fight there. It's alright. We still got a few of them, at least. Would be very nice to finish our Thornmel. We took primarily magic damage there. After our Thornmail, we can go straight into Spirit Vistage or finish our Maw. Maw is really good on Kane. Normally on Kane for your items, guys, once again. Full Jungle Item Tier 2 Boots, Black Cleaver. And at some point, you need to get a full Lifeline Item. Whether it's a Maw or a Sterix, getting a completed Lifeline Item for your final build is really, really strong. My Knight's about to be up. The moment people auto you is also a decent time to use your W because as they're autoing, they're kind of frozen. I'm gonna hold on to my E since I'm in enemy jungle. Looks like Diana's way out of position. I can go clap those cheeks. I have I have Hex Drinker too. She, yeah, she backed. I thought she might try to fight me with the Echo, but she knew what was gonna happen. With my Hex Drinker, it gives me enough MR to negate all of her flat magic pen. The 15 plus the 18. I have more MR than she has magic pen, so her build is. Not ineffective on me, but it's far from optimal against me. Level 15, we'll back and get our Thornmel. The enemies aren't pushing too hard for Baron, and we're all alive. So unless I'm standing on a ward, I doubt they'll start it. Okay, next up, we'll get a ward. We're going to get Maw or Spirit Vistage. Either one, we need more MR. We already have enough armor off the tabs and Thornmel at this point. Dead Man's Plate is still a reasonable option, but I would like to get a Spirit Vistage for the healing. They only do have two Ignites. They do have executioners and stuff, so realistically, Spirit Vistage probably won't be the best. W him if he. Oh shit! Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Boom! <laughs> That's why you never W first. We still got the kill. We fucked up our W. If we would have saved it, we would have been fine, but we wasted too much time Wing. So yeah, guys, whenever you're in a bad situation, as long as your teammates are behind you as Kane, spam your Ignite and then press R on the guy. Using Ignite is faster than autoing or even using a spell. It's a one-frame ability. Press Ignite and then press R. Should happen instantly. You can survive that situation, come out with a little bit of HP, and right as you come out, you want to try to hold on for as long as possible or at least until your W is off a of cooldown. If your W is off a of cooldown, they'll all be chasing you. So for example, I wish it would stop going to me. So if I dash out here, they're all going to move into and try to kill me. So if I dash out, toss out a W, they're fucked. Like you saw there, I CC their whole team. Got a bunch of healing back because I heal for 41% of my damage I do. So I got heaps of healing, did heaps of CC, and then Bard followed up that fight with a wonderful ult. That was really, really nice. Well played by the Bard. I am going to go ahead and finish my Maw of Malmordius, though. I do want to finish it. I want the extra MR, and I want the lifeline it gives. When it triggers, I get plus 20 AD, 10% spell vamp, which is huge, 10% life still, which is decent. 
uh, yeah, it gives me a lot of stats. I'll definitely need to need to finish that. Uh, we could definitely look for a fight here. I'm strong enough. I have ult. as long as you have ultimate on Kane, looking for team fights is a reasonable option. Oh, I mistimed my W. We're gonna ult him to dodge his tipper. We're gonna W out. We're gonna W just like we were talked about. We can move away from him. He did hit me with tip. Shouldn't matter. Heal off of him. If Draven tried to hit me there, I would have hit him with my W when I came out of my ult. I think that's why he didn't try. He knew it was just going to be bad. Whenever King comes out of his ult, if his W is off a of cooldown, he's super dangerous. You got to just kind of let him be. Like there. They should have just let me be. We have the two demon champions. Red Demon Kane and the Aatrox. Yeah, Blitzcrank is trying to set up a hook on me. If he tries to fight me, though, I'll just W him. That W wasn't great. I should have... I angled it a little too sharp. If he hooks me into them, and if I start my W, that might be good. Alright, at this point, our ultimate's back up. We could potentially fight. I just did an awful W. I need to wait till that's coming back up. You're ignited, bitch. You're dead. I can... Oh, shit. That was... <laughs> Woo! What I was going to try to do there was waste their time. I was going to E towards them, then just E back. But the Darius Flash was really good. That was greedy on my part. I should have expected that. Well played by the Darius. You can die. So for those of you wondering why that went so bad, I didn't have ult. If I were to have ult, I probably could have lived or at the very least gotten a kill. If you don't have ult on Kane, remember, don't team fight. No ult Kane, don't team fight. Unless it's just super free because the enemies are really low in health or something. No ult Kane, no team fight. It's that simple. Man. We can now finish our maw. And at this point, let's look at our damage. It was about 50-50. I think we have the option of either going for Spirit Vistage or Guardian Angel would both be really good. I already, I'm already capped off on my CDR anyways, so we'd be wasting some stats on Spirit Vistage. That's not the end all be all, but they have Morello, they have uh, Mortal Reminder and uh, Executioners plus two Ignites. Like realistically, my healing is going to be shit anyways, so I don't think Spirit Vistage is necessarily the way to go. I think it it sounds good, but it'll actually be quite rubbish. So I'll go ahead and just build items I can get more value out of and not waste CDR. The enemies are all stacked up, except for the Darius. Echo's a little out of position. Gonna W the Draven. Q him, auto, ult. I think my bar just fucked me. I can use the wall here to get out of it. Very nice. I'm gonna Q. I have my MR. He has no way of killing me. That's the power of Ma. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you play Kane. You gotta farm up. Preferably farm the enemy's jungle because you can farm fast. And to build leads, you need to make sure the enemies are missing something. So you do a lot of early game farming. Preferably farm enemy's jungle. You can get a cheeky gank here and there when your ignite is off a of cooldown. And uh, scale up. That's about it. And final thing is make sure you run red or blue cane out of champ select. If you're going to go red cane because of the comps, go conquer. If you're going to go blue cane, go dark harvest. And that's about it. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed this red cane jungle commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. So bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.